small business ideas in India that you can start from home with low investment list of small business ideas in India that you can start from home with as low as 50,000 rupees and make profit. Looking for some small business ideas in India with large profit margin. Starting a profitable business is not hard. However, aspiring entrepreneurs often find themselves struggling. Finding that the best small business ideas for starting a business in India is not that difficult and we have lots of home-based business ideas out there which we can start with some low investment and large profit margin small business ideas for anyone who wants to run their own venture and start their entrepreneurial journey. Every idea is one of the best profit-making small businesses which you can start in India, have a look. Sugarment has drawn up a list of the best small business ideas in India that you can start with low investment. This article covers all types of small business ideas including home-based, easiest to start, high growth, low investment, online, new businesses, part-time, service, manufacturing, trading, steady income and a number of business ideas that you can start today and earn money. On a side note, if you're looking for a comprehensive guide to kickstart your business, Business Fair Field is a great place to start with table of content. Tomato sauce making dry fruits start stationary shop ginger garlic paste making online drop shipping start your school goat farming toilet cleaner making sanitary pad napkin making t-shirt printing one. Tomato sauce making business in India, almost all people like to eat delicious and fast food very much. Nowadays people use tomato sauce with those dishes to further enhance the taste of all kinds of dishes. The tomato sauce has made us wanted with almost every meal possible. Tomato ketchup or tomato sauce is demanded in its form across the globe. The widespread use of tomato sauce as an ingredient, condiment, table sauce has been the reason behind its growth and expanding market share. India accounted for more than 10% of the total global production of tomato sauce. So let's see how tomato sauce making business opportunity for you. The market for the tomato sauce is a vast one because of its applications across various Indian cuisines. Its use is longing across the households to canteens, restaurants, fast food joints etc. It can be used as an ingredient in preparing and cooking savory dishes, condiment for chicken, fritters etc. It can be used with the fast food and used for street food preparations. Types of tomato sauce Sweet and spicy tomato sauce Tomato ketchup No garlic No onion Tomato sauce Organic tomato ketchup Chili tomato ketchup So everyone is using tomato sauce and this is the reason that today there is a lot of development in the tomato sauce industry. The target consumers for your tomato sauce manufacturing would be takeout food chains, households, street food stalls, fast food chains, retail stores and supermarkets, restaurants, bakeries, canteens, and cafes. You required some raw materials to run this project like glucose syrup, spices, tomatoes, came or beet sugar, water, and vinegar. Machinery required to set up a tomato sauce making business space grinding machine exhaust and processing machine tomato pulping machine crown corking machine bottle washing machine boiler The market competition in tomato sauce is quite aggressive with the already dominating strong brands however it is easy to capture a local market and cater to them. The competition to your tomato sauce manufacturing sector is Nestle, Patanjali, Heinz, Kisan, Maggie, and many more. You can also start tomato sauce making project from home and earn good money from tomato sauce. To start tomato sauce manufacturing you need some raw materials and some machinery to start this profitable project and we can start this startup easily by arranging these things. You can either rent out a space or start tomato sauce making at home with a with a small capital of approximately 40,000 rupees 50,000 rupees. The profits made from this tomato sauce manufacturing is 20,000 rupees minus 25,000 per month. 2. Dry fruits business dry fruits is used in everyone's homes, everyone likes them very much, be it children or elderly people, it is very beneficial for health. The dry fruits selling in India has been emerging in the form of wholesale, home-based, retail, and online spaces because of the increasing health benefits of dry fruits. Dry fruits are also used in Indian sweets. But in the past few years, adulteration of sweets has increased in a large amount, especially on festivals. In such a situation, people like to buy dry fruits rather than buying adulterated sweets. That's why the selling of dry fruit is also increasing day by day. Anyone can earn money by starting this startup. Nowadays, dry fruits are also given as a gift on festivals. Depending upon your area availability, capital capability, and size of operations you can establish your dry fruit businesses. Home-based dry fruit online dry fruit retail dry fruit it is commonly used in dairy, 
baking industry, hospitality industry, confectionery, and massive use as a form of packaged gifts on the occasion of celebrations, Indian festive and auspice. The dry fruits selling can be initiated from home with low investment of approximately 15,000 rupees minus 25,000 rupees. The profits that one could earn from this dry fruit selling is 20,000 rupees minus 30,000 rupees per month. The target consumers for your dry fruits such as desserts shops, baking shops, sweet shops, catering services, dairy and confectionery, online grocery shops, and cosmetic industries. 3. Start stationery shop As we all know, nowadays there has been a lot of awareness among people about education and now most of the boys and girls are going to school and colleges to get education. You can take advantage of this opportunity and start a stationery shop in your area with very low investment and this stationery store can run anywhere easily. If you want to earn money with very low investment, then you can start a stationery shop. Nowadays, you get to see schools, colleges or coaching centers everywhere, in such a time, we can start the stationery shop that is in demand. In today's time, there is a high demand for school or office stationery. In the era of digital advancements, opening a stationery store is one of the best small business idea in India, however, some markets will never close down in India. Papers and pens are still very much in use in schools, colleges, and offices even in the age of laptops, tablets, and mobiles. Resumes and greeting cards are still preferred to be printed on paper in an old-fashioned way. Also, there is more to stationery than just notebooks, papers, pens, and any stationery shop entrepreneur would gladly describe the items. If you are someone interested to start a business with low investment, starting a stationery shop would be just the thing for you. Here are some pointers on how to start a stationery shop in India. Make a detailed list of stationery items you want to sell. Following are a few stationery store ideas, general stationery paraphernalia such as glue, scissors, tape, staplers, and gift wrappers. School supplies starting from whiteboards, eraser, crayons, pens, pencil sharpener, geometry boxes, paints, notebooks, globes. Office stationery paraphernalia such as to office supplies like white papers, highlighter pen, folders, envelopes, organizers, stapler, markers, files. Notepads, whitener, rubber stamp, and covers. Art supplies in detail for all types of charcoal, paintings, oil, water paints, stencil, etc. Ink cartridges, computer software and printers, headphones, toners. Craft supplies such as ribbons, glitter, buttons, beads, organza, and wool. Party supplies such as confetti, balloons, crowns, masks, streamers, and candles. Once you have an idea of what items you want to sell, create a portfolio and circulate it in your local area. This helps in giving your potential customers an idea of what the stationery store contains before they actually visit. Location. As with other small business ideas in India, you need to study the market before you start stationery shop. You can open your stationery store in a super mall, which increases your chances of sales. A stationery shop should be accessible, located in a semi-residential area, and visible to people who are likely to be your potential customers. Like any other small store or shop, you need funding for your venture. Your budget will need to cover the cost and expenses including rent of store premises, labor charges, staff salary, electricity bills, transportation, supplies, stocks, and various miscellaneous costs. In today's generation, most people prefer online shopping, create your online stationery store for stating your information such as your product range, missions, objectives, your location, about your store, objects you wish to sell, ownership and more. Register your stationery shop like any other small store either as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or LLC. Obtain necessary stationery store licenses and trade registrations such as the Shop and Establishment Act license. Register for taxes such as GST, apply for PAN and TAN etc. The profits made from this stationery store is 40,000 rupees minus 50,000 per month. 4. Ginger garlic paste making business We all know that the role of spices in Indian food is very important. Many types of spices are used in Indian cuisine and one of them is ginger garlic paste, which is used in all kinds of dishes. Ginger and garlic is a crop that is produced in almost all the states of India. Therefore, the project of making ginger and garlic paste can be started in any part of India. Because the essential raw material for this project is that ginger and garlic can be easily and found anywhere. Ginger garlic paste making is one of the most profitable small business ideas in India. Basically, ginger garlic paste is an FMCG item. 
It is getting immense popularity in the urban areas, small towns and rural areas also. Any entrepreneur can start ginger garlic paste making on the small scale with moderate capital investment. Even if you have some space at home, you can start this project. As you know, garlic and ginger are the two most important spices for Indian food. Generally, people from the Asia-Pacific region are the major consumer of garlic and ginger. However, the products have a wide consumption worldwide. This activity comes under the agro-based industry. Food processing industries are the major commercial consumers of ginger garlic paste. Apart from domestic cooking, takeout food chains, restaurants, hotels, fast food chains, cafes, canteens, street food stalls, use the item for preparing different types of foods. You can set up the manufacturing operation in fully automatic and semi-automatic way. Fully automatic setup is perfect for large-scale manufacturer. You can start a small-scale operation by procuring some machinery and equipment from reliable suppliers. Raw material and packaging ginger and garlic food preservatives packaging consumables poly pouch outer cartons equipment and machinery the requirement of equipment and machinery depends on the desired manufacturing size. However, here we have compiled a basic list of machinery and equipment for your reference. Pulping machine weighing machine water jet washer stainless steel tank sealing machine carton packing machine fruit mill crusher packing machine skin peeling machine you can start ginger garlic paste making at your home with a small capital of approximately 20,000 rupees 25,000 rupees. 5. Online dropshipping business friends, there are many small business ideas and you can earn money from home by doing those projects. Nowadays most of the people do online work from home, they make income in lakhs of rupees only through online marketing. In today's time, most people like to shop through online stores or online shopping websites and in this case dropshipping is also growing more and you too can start business from home. What is a dropshipping? In dropshipping, you can run your online store without ever holding any inventory. You'll never need to worry about shipping, storing, and packaging your products. You are not responsible for the costs of manufacturing and shipping. It is a low-risk business model. In the model, you sell the products of suppliers or manufacturers on your website under your own brand. You don't become overburdened with carrying inventory, cost of creating products, cost of employees, costs of maintaining unsold inventory, and for packaging and shipping products. Starting a drop shipping is the first step into entrepreneurship. You don't even need to pay for product stocks until it's sold to an actual customer. You'll be set your own product prices, market your very own brand, and able to sell products to customers. All entrepreneurs are unique, but it's possible to generate a 50,000 rupees minus 75,000 monthly within 12 months working approximately 8 to 10 hours per week building your project. When starting a drop shipping, you'll need to invest time or money. As an entrepreneur, if you're hoping for a six-figure income from part-time online work, you're going to be sadly disappointed. As with any other profitable small business, building a drop shipping takes a long-term perspective. If you have the option to work on full-time, it's the best choice to improve your profit potential and chance of drop shipping success. How do I start a drop shipping business? Choose a drop shipping business idea perform competitor product research using Helium 10 competitor analysis find a drop shipping supplier building a drop shipping store market your drop shipping you can start online drop shipping from your home with low investment of approximately 20000 rupees 25000 rupees 6 start your school we need more and more good quality competent schools to increase the literacy rate and spread the social cause of education in India Opening a primary school or play school in India is not very challenging. The demand for schools is on the rise. Investing money in educational sector is a good business idea. If you are planning to open your own school but are daunted by the whole procedure, here we are with a guide. The very first step to start a school is to make a plan on how your school is going to operate including faculty, the location, teaching subjects etc. The second step is to arrange your finances. To open a play school in India, you need some investment. Plan your budget distribution in place, furniture, staff etc. If you want to start business in educational sector and earn money, then you can open a school and make it profitable along with social service. You will also have to provide all the education facilities to open your own schools and prepare a structure and blueprint of your own school in advance. To open a school you need a lot of licenses and permits, so first of all you have to contact a good lawyer and ask them for all your plans. To open a school, permission has to be obtained from the Municipal Authority, Department of Education and Health Department. 
This is the only department in which you have to submit your application for approval and have to take permission from them. The demand for school is high as well, and starting a school has become a lucrative small business idea in India. 7. Goat farming business In today's time, many people are making money by doing goat farming. This project is very profitable and can employ large numbers of unemployed people in rural area. Goat farming in India is becoming very popular. As goat farming is one of the finest small business ideas so, the popularity of goat farming is increasing rapidly in India. In India, it is established livestock management department. Goat has a great contribution in the rural economy of our country. In today's time, many people are making money by doing animal farming. Any entrepreneur can start this project from home and earn money. In India, goats are also very suitable for meat, fiber, milk, and skin production. They also produce high-quality manure. Benefits of goat farming production costs like treatment, feeding, and infrastructure are less. Goats can produce meat, fiber, milk, skin together. Reach slaughter age faster. It requires less space compared to cow and other livestock farming. Established market for marketing your products. The goat farming can be initiated from home with low investment of approximately 15,000 rupees minus 25,000 rupees. Wish your happy goat farming business in India. 8. Toilet cleaner making business You will find many types of toilet cleaners easily in the market, but all those bathroom cleaners will clean your bathroom for some time, but after cleaning, some dirt is left and then due to excessive chemicals. If you want, you can make toilet cleaner at home with some ingredients. To start a toilet cleaner manufacturing we have to prepare some necessary raw materials and a good strategy and then start it at a small level with minimum investment. You need to develop a product line of bathroom cleaners or toilet cleaners to start off. An approximate capital of 10,000 rupees 15,000 rupees will be required to purchase raw materials and packaging. 9. Sanitary pad napkin making business sanitary pads are a product that every woman needs. Women use sanitary pads during their periods. In Indian market, there are a variety of sanitary pads and products related to women's hygiene available. So if you start a sanitary pad making, you can make a lot of profit in a short time. It is one of the best small business ideas in India for those who want to start the small scale project with low investment. To start sanitary pad making, you have to need your own budget and you will have to start a sanitary pad manufacturing. Apart from this, you also have to understand that you have to make a proper strategy for this project and understand that there is a demand for sanitary pad napkins in the market. After that, you make a list of all the raw materials and necessary machines and set your budget. You can also take training in making sanitary pads. If you are looking to raise funds, then there is a loan schemes named Pradhan Montri Employment Generation Scheme and Stand Up India Loan Scheme where you can approach and get loan for your startup. Both loan scheme allow you to take loans between 10 lakh rupees to 1 crore from nationalized banks with subsidies. These loan schemes can take between 15 days to 6 months depending on your location, rural, urban. 10. T-shirt printing business entrepreneurs, if you are searching for start small project with low investment in India, then we have a lot of small business ideas for you, but today we will tell you about the venture which is in demand. In today's time, youngsters like to wear new designs and colorful full printed t-shirts. If you want to start small venture, you can start a t-shirt printing business with low investment and make money. T-shirt printing has become a popular business opportunity, especially for entrepreneurs looking to explore a relatively low investment business to start. You don't need any license if you sell printed t-shirts online. How do I start a t-shirt printing business tie-ups with trusted manufacturer or supplier for quality materials choose a niche to focus on mock up your t-shirts create your designs validate your designs keep in mind before you start a t-shirt printing design niche brand quality inventory equipment is needed to start a t-shirt printing screen printing heat transfer direct to garment DTG don't forget to subscribe Nyan Business Guru